First a pandemic, now a war. Can we catch a break? And sure enough, food prices are on the rise. So during these tough times, here are 16 cheap and healthy foods to stock up on. Nut butters are a great and delicious source of healthy fats and protein. But the best thing is, they can last for months and months, even at room temperature. They're the perfect emergency food. Most fresh fruits and vegetables are a no-no for durability, but apples are an exception. They can last for a couple months in the fridge and much longer if you freeze them. And even if there's a power outage, they can last a couple weeks in a cool spot. One trick is to wrap them in damp paper. The humidity helps preserve them longer. And avoid storing them next to fruit that spoils faster, like bananas, for example, because fruit can actually communicate with each other. I'm not joking. When fruit ripens, it emits a gas called ethylene that speeds up the ripening and rotting of neighboring fruit. Hey, what do you call it when one piece of fruit influences another? Pear pressure. Another fruit that keeps pretty well are citrus. The acidity and the thick peel retard the rotting. And you can always buy them unripe for increased shelf life. Another wonder of durability are tubers. Potatoes, sweet potato, and yams can last months in a cool, dark place like a cupboard. And the same goes for types of allium, like onions and garlic, and also for spices. They all last a long time and can really upgrade a simple meal. At number six, we have dry beans and whole grains. Total no-brainer. Cheap, healthy, and they basically last forever. Black beans, lentils, chickpeas, oats, barley, brown rice, farro, or quinoa. A few packs of these in the pantry, and you're ready to face whatever comes your way. Okay, what about canned stuff? Cans are an obvious choice for storage, but is it healthy? Is it safe? With beans specifically, some people avoid canned beans because of the high salt content of most of the options in the market. But there are no salt added options available, so salt is not an absolute limitation. Another concern is the BPA used to line the cans, which can sometimes leach into the food. According to the FDA, the current level of BPA used in food containers is not a problem. But if you just want to play safe, look for BPA-free cans. Even safer, beans in glass jars. No BPA and no BPA alternatives either. Problem solved. Still on the topic of cans, several vegetables come in cans pre-cooked. And same precautions. You can get them with no salt added and BPA-free if you prefer. Of course, you can also get your fruits and vegetables frozen if you're not anticipating issues with power outages and if you have the extra freezer space. Endless options like edamame, green beans, corn, mango, pineapple, berries, and many, many others. The other thing that's possible to get canned is meat and fish. I didn't know this, but there's canned chicken breast and even some brands with no salt added. And of course, canned fish. The best trade-off between the omega-3s and low mercury being fatty fish, like salmon or sardines. And of course, you can freeze meat and fish if power outages are not likely. Now, quick side note, every time we mention meat or fish in a video, somebody will pop up in the comments and complain that we shouldn't even bring it up because it's bad for the environment and bad for animals. But the purpose of these videos is to provide information so you can make informed decisions. It's not to make the decisions for you. So you take this information and you make whatever choices you deem best. Or ignore the information. All up to you. And on that note, for people who prefer not to eat meat and fish, we've talked about beans, but tofu can last a long time as well. Shelf-stable tofu can last for a couple months unopened. And seitan can also last many months unopened. Now let's touch on water real quick, which is technically not a food, but it's something that people like to stock up on in an emergency. And if you're like me and you hate the sight of all the wasted plastic, there are several eco-friendly options like recyclable cartons, which can also be BPA free. And there's also a recyclable aluminum option. When it comes to durability, few things beat dry pasta. Nowadays, there's all these different options on the market from whole wheat to gluten-free options like lentil pasta and chickpea pasta, which are higher in protein and fiber and half the carbohydrate for those who prefer to eat lower carb. The lowest I've ever seen is edamame pasta at seven grams of net carbs per serving. So it works even for people on very low carb diets. And we can't neglect to mention nuts and dried fruit. 
because they're high energy, but they also last a long time at room temperature, and you can combine them in trail mix for a healthy snack. And to wrap things up, I'll throw in popcorn, which is another good snack option that keeps super well in the pantry. Alternatives to the traditional butter and salt include olive oil, yeast for cheesy flavor, and different herbs. Did I miss your favorite? Let me know below and complete the list. Here's more on how to cook beans, best techniques according to science, and some more information on how to eat cheap and healthy all at once. Take care, see you next week.